Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna show you how to take care of all your lifter buckets and try to keep everything in order for uh, if you need to bring your heads to the machine shop. So stick around. So uh, the only thing you really need for this is uh, a little magnet or something like that. <clears throat> Makes it a lot easier to pull these buckets out. But uh, just kind of stick your buck or your magnet in the middle, and they should just pull uh, pull straight out, you know. Uh, but you got the biggest thing here is you got to keep these in order. We talked about this in a previous video. Uh, this one here has to go back in this exact spot here because everything is everything is clearanced for your uh, where your cams uh, hit these lifters. So what I do is with the camera here, I'll actually label everything. <clears throat> so the the way I have the heads oriented are basically uh, bank one, bank two, and then the front of the front of the heads or front of the engine. So we'll start an order here, and we'll pull each one of them out. Pull each one of them out pretty quick here. This will be for the magnet here, they come right out, otherwise you're gonna be a pain in the ass to pull them. Yeah, like I say, they must stay in order. And um, this is uh, some of the few parts in the engine that are uh, uh, like a, a carbon steel material. So they will rust. So don't wipe them down unless you plan on, unless you plan on like spraying a little coat of WD or some some kind of oil on them to keep them from rusting because they will rust. And if they rust, that's no bueno. Don't want any of these rusting. Because even the even the outside here is like really really uh, precise in how they fit down in the holes over the bow springs. So. every one of them the reason we're doing this is so when we bring the heads to the machine shop we don't have to worry about them falling out being out of order you know we have our cam towers and everything like that so let me move this again here now you can see all of your uh, your valves and your springs all exposed um, if you, you have to take valve springs out, they're all uh, color coded for exhaust and intake side. So the orangish, reddish kind of color is for uh, your uh, intake side, and then the yellow, uh, the bright yellow color is for the exhaust side. And the same thing goes with all these valves. You can't like mi uh, mix match uh, any of these valves in different spots because uh, the valve seats, the valve length, uh, the bore for the lifter, the lifter thickness, all of that, all of that coincides to each individual spot where they go. And I know it sounds like a pain in the ass, but um, it's just the way it's designed and, you know, we work with what we can, so. See, next we'll pull off these tensioners here, off of each head, and we'll keep these. Uh, same thing, we'll keep it uh, in, in line with the head that they go on, bank one and bank two. And 
I don't, I don't think I've shown an underside underside view of these heads, but I'll do it now. These are, you know, a lot of people hate the V-Vel system, and, and it does make it make them harder to work on. It's more parts to take apart and more tuning involved and everything like that. But these heads flow exceptionally well far more than what a 3.7 liter NAV6 can can move so this is it here I mean that is a lot of valve area for this small of an engine a hell of a lot of valve area so this is the surface here uh, that will I mean it probably will only take like one or two thousandths of an inch to uh, true it up again. That's that's all you're really trying to do here is making sure it's flat The deck of the block is flat and then the piston or the cylinders are uh, Perpendicular to these mating surfaces. Everything's got to be center flat true uh, The way that we don't have any Any kind of weaknesses when it comes to putting everything back together and making a lot of boost so These are heads are ready to go to the machine shop um, we'll probably have a little bit of a hang up, uh, since the customer sent me, uh, stock bore pistons. So uh, I'm going to scurry around and try to find them some 96 millimeter pistons to go in this engine. And hopefully really soon we'll be putting everything back together. I'll get a little view of these. <clears throat> like I said, I don't. I don't wipe any of that oil off. I'll leave it leave it all on. I'll even spray a little WD-40 on them. Just a little bit. Even on the cans, I'll spray a little WD on them. Keep everything from getting any kind of, I don't want any kind of surface rust on any of this. None, so. Then after we uh, spray them, We'll just cover them with some plastic or something like that, just in case, because a week can turn into a month or two months. So no rust. Rust is no bueno. So until the next video, thanks for uh, checking it out. We'll see you next time.